Hi, and welcome to today's webinar, where um, Philippa and I are going to take you through importing uh, your milk recording results and also how you can create the export files. Um, when we do the webinars, we try to look at uh, areas of the program where perhaps people are having some issues with, and certainly reading in the data stream does seem to be one. So, yeah, hopefully we can cover it so that it's a, a seamless process. So, the first thing that you'd need to do is to download from the NMR website or the CIS website the data stream um, that will have the milk, fat, protein and somatic cell counts on it. So when you download it, generally it will go into my downloads or if you have the option to save it, I generally save it on the desktop. What you'll then need to do is to go to the cows head, go to links and we're going to go to data stream update. Okay, first bit, if you want, you can actually merge balls, um, but we'll cover that at a different time. So we're going to go to the next screen. I never read in advanced. You don't need to go to advanced. I would actually like to take that off. So just, just leave that. Um, if you then tick the calculate 305, that's really important. Um, don't leave that, that blank. You want to calculate the 305, so that'll update the, the data on your program. And then all you're doing is you're just saying, where am I going to look? Where am I going to find this file? So as I said, it could be in my downloads. Um, I've saved it on the desktop. And you'll see there's two different files. There's a dsmember.exe, and there's also a dsmember.dat. Um, so generally from the NMR side, it will be DS, dsmember.exe, um, but the CIS website does give you the option to save it as a dat, but it, it doesn't matter. Either way, it's, it's fine. So we select the file. We go to next and we hit finish. And that will now start importing your latest milk recording results. While it does that, um, what are the most sort of common issues that we, we find where people are having problems? Um, sometimes you might find that if you are new to milk recording, so if you've just um, started milk recording with NMR CIS, when you first read in your first data stream, you may get a box up that comes and says that um, your herd number differs from the uniform program to what's in um, the data stream file. Um, if you do that, get that, give us a quick call and then we can quickly log in and solve that for you. It'll only happen the first time, um, but once you've done that, then you'll have no problems with that again. The other one that I see a lot is you read the data stream in, you then forget to delete that file out of downloads. And then when you come the next month to re-import it, what it does is it renames it. So it calls it DS member one, DS member two. And then when you try to read that in, the program can't read it in because it's looking for a file called DS member. So it's really important that download it, read it in, and then delete it so that you're good to go for the next month. And the other thing on, on the screen here, you will see um, it's doing quite a lot of checking. So if you see uh, one number, let's say, on the data stream is different to the number on your uniform program, um, and it will show you the, the count number on there, I think just give us a call yeah. and we can we can help show you, you know, where the issue lies. Yes, yeah, so that'll either be the animal needs changing on the milk recording side, or it might be um, it needs changing on our side. But um, yeah, we can have a look at that and we can work out which one is the correct one and then we can we can go from there. Yeah. So if you have a lot of kind of mixed identities coming up there, please call the help desk and we'll go through and we'll sort that, sort that out for you. Mm -hmm. OK, so that's reading in a, a data stream. But what happens if they are, for example, doing essential sampling? OK, so if you're essential sampling, um, you will need to get a monthly disk update. Um, so if I come out of here um, and then to read that in, it's a similar process. So it's back into cow's head, then into links. And then here you've got monthly disk update. And then we can go to next. And then there's a whole long list of um, different things in here. But once you've done it the first time, it will remember your selection for next time. So if we scroll down, so you've got your CIS one there. Then you've got your NMR, and then for QMS, that's a bit further down. There you go. And then you've got your QMS one there. So you can select that, go to next, and it's very similar to the importing of the data stream where you select the file 
um, and then you can select the 305 and then go to next and then that will read that in for you. One thing I forgot to say, if you've just closed that, once you've read it in, um, how do you know that you've actually got the latest data? So if we close that section there and just go to the CAS head, number two, milk management, milk recording analysis, or we could have gone to cell counts, whatever. But you'll then be able to see the, yeah, so we've read in the March, March recording yeah. correctly. And if you did want to go back to previous recordings, so we've got our latest one there. And if you go into properties, you can then choose back your different recordings. So also, if you um, have maybe missed reading in a data stream for a few months, if you read in the latest one, that will also backfill any previous months that have been missed mm. as well. And at the webinar next week, uh, we will be going through this report and going through cell counts and dry cow analysis. Uh, but today's really just to, yeah, hopefully make the import easier for you. Okay, so that's importing the data. But now what about exporting it, creating the file for the milk recorder? Um, where do we go there? Okay, so to do the export, you want to go to the cow's head and then back into links. So everything with the milk recording is all under links. And then for um, CIS and NMR, they're very similar. So you've got your export to NMR here, and then you've got your export to CIS here. So if we just have a look through the NMR one to start with. So it's exactly the same screen once you go into the NMR one or the CIS one. So you can select whether you want to send milk data or not. So if you don't have a link to a milking parlor, just make sure you select none. And then here we've got milk recording date. This should show our last date that we read in our last data stream. So we can double check there as well if we maybe haven't done it before we do the export. And then down at the bottom here, you've got this event update report. So this is just a, a quick sheet that you could print out, which will show everything that's been entered into uniform since the last recording date. So any carvings, uh, PDs, any cows that have been sold, that's all included in there, but it's, it's also included in the file as well. So if we go to next, and then this bit here, you can kind of ignore this. This is just in case you wanted to run the link with the milking parlor um, to retrieve in um, any milk yields from today um, that haven't been already done. Go to next, and then you can select your groups. So everything's already pre-selected, but if you did maybe want to do separate recordings for, if you had like um, a, you know half Jersey, half Holsteins, and they were in different um, groups, you could do two recordings, so one for the Holsteins, one for the Jerseys, um, but generally you'll just leave that as it is. Go to next, and then here's where we can select what milkings we want to pick up. I think this is the bit that people occasionally get a little yes. bit you know, confused by. Yeah, so you've got you've got a couple of options. So you can either do pick up a whole day's recording. Um, so if you want to do that, so we can look at yesterday. So you just need to change your date so um, it picks up yesterday's date and then with the times so we want to do a whole day so we're going to do one minute past midnight on the first time and then the second time we're going to do 23.59 so just make sure we pick up all the data for that date and then we can go to next and finish and then that will pick up um, the milk the two milkings from that day or if you want to do um, last night's recording and this morning's recording so then we just need to make sure um, we change our dates. We can see our milking times down at the bottom here. So we've got our first milkings at 6 a.m., second milkings at 6 p.m. We just need to make sure we have our times in here to include these these um, these milking times at the bottom. So if we on the top one, so we want to make sure we include our six o'clock in the evening milking. So what I would normally do, I give us a half an hour leeway. So I do half past five for that one. And then we've got our morning milkings at 6 a.m. Then just give yourself plenty of time to make sure it's um, read in that data um, and the links run between uniform and the parlor. So we'll just say, I oh, will do 9 a.m. for that one. And then what you can do, go to next. It'll ask you where you want to save it. So I'm just going to pop this one on the desktop um, and then click finish. And then it will run through. So it will be adding in all those changes um, that have been made to any of the cows, any animals that have left any carvings that have been entered in, that'll all be getting read onto a file. And as it scrolls down and then, yep, it will then tell you, yep, everything's all finished and that data has been saved onto a file onto the desktop. And you, you know if you're pulling out the milk meter yields because it will show a milking one yeah. and a milking two. Yeah, so where you've got milk weights here, obviously we haven't got anything on our 
our data at the moment, but you would have milking one, milking two, and then it will show you the number of cows that are included in that milking. If you have something like milking one, milking two, milking three, and you only milk, milk two times a day, you know you've got your times wrong, um, so you can go back and change those before you send the file off. Yeah. Okay, so that's the how we produce the NMR one. Where do we go for the CIS? The CIS one, so it's still under links under the CIS button, export data to CIS, and then it's a very similar screen again, so you can see your last recording date, you've got your event update report, and you can go to next. It's the same process again, and then you can pop in your day and time you want to do. So we'll say for this one, we'll just do a whole day's recording. So we're gonna do, So that's picking out the morning, the afternoon. So that's doing everything yep. for the fourth. And then we can go to next, again, say where we want to save it, click finish, and then it runs through again, picking up all that data. Um, so yep, any purchases, any sold cows, any carvings. It'll also pick up your milkings for that day, and then it will run through, and then it will tell you when it's finished. OK. Yep. So you can see there, that's now saved on the desktop as well. Good. What about uh, producing an EDI DAP file? Where would we go there? Yep, so for an EDI DAP file, so again, it's still under links. And then you've got this option here, EDI DAP. And then what you can do, you've got your make file here, but before we click on that, just make sure you go into properties and make sure you've got everything in here ticked and you've saved settings ticked, click OK. And then we can create make file. And then what that'll do is that will run through and that will create create a little zip file that goes on your desktop that you can then um, send send across. Okay, good. Um, hopefully that's taken a little bit of the mystery out of importing and, and producing the export files. I think it's, it's one of those that, you know, if you have got problems with it, please just call the help desk and we'll try our best to, to help. I will see you've got a couple of questions in there. Mm -mm -mm. Sorry, we're just reading it at the moment. Yeah, one good point actually, and I, I should have said that. Um, line number changes. That's on the event update. Event update. So that so would that be go across and all the changes that yeah. Yeah, you need to give that probably give that one to the milk recorder actually. Yeah. So if you have been changing line numbers, that, that's that's a very good point. Okay, I think any other questions that we've got there, we will um <laughs> I'll give that person a call because I don't no, I don't I don't quite understand that. So I will give uh, I'll give that person a call back. Hopefully you found that helpful. Super short survey. If you could answer that, we really appreciate it. And we look forward to talking to you uh, next Wednesday, going through the the cell count report. So you kind of do the hard work here, and then we have the analysis following after that. So hopefully you found that helpful and yeah, look forward to uh, taking any calls if you have any questions.